met with some of the students around these questions. And in the room were some staggeringly successful, on our side from the class, we have some amazing people and some, I mean, the, to begin with, what they all talked about was having a, a, success, a, a successful and stable uh, family existence. And that that was really rewarding. And that it was very easy to let other uh, ideas and let other activities get in the way of that. So I was struck that across everything, including teaching, <laughs> academic work, we were saying, boy, family first. And then I think the, the second was that almost everyone had done what they wanted to do. Not in one way or another, they had followed what they wanted to do in the best that they, in the best way that they could, and then just tried to do as best they could about it. And uh, again, uh, the kind that kind of person, when you're looking at that six kind of success, has been very careful, I think, to keep, you know, just to to stay away from the foul line. Uh, to, to try and just, as much as they could, do what was right and not chase things that seemed marginal. I don't think it has changed that much. Uh, I mean, for sure the amounts of money being made are staggeringly different. But that's not what, how people measure it because, I mean, there are people who have worked really hard over a period of years and built a company that maybe has sales of $10 million and it has, it's stable and that has a good workforce and that, that's a fantastic fulfillment, right? And you have others who've had corporate careers and so on, and, and they don't seem very happy about it. Uh, and then there are other leaders who've just, I mean, it's, I'm thinking at the moment of Lou Gerstner, who has had a number of careers. I do think he feels just remarkably good about what he was able to do at IBM just because it's the, the idea that he, he was able to restore a great company to health and, uh, and prosperity w was remarkable. He may have made more money when he was at RJR or American Express. I, it's just what, what I think what was meaningful to him was what he was able to accomplish. One, I would definitely be spending some of my time in Asia and learning at what was going on there. And second, I would probably spend some time in government because I think at least for the next 10, 20 years, in part because of what just happened, we're going to have government as a partner in a lot of what we do. And it wouldn't hurt to understand it uh, or to have friends there and to understand how to, how, how to work with government in, in a way that is sensible.